You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Trust me, I've known that for a long time. Nobody can change fate. Poor old Fomidus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. It's a shame he'll be dead by now. When he started his experiments here, he asked me if they'd ever be successful. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but its success would come on the day that Hughes was to die. The old man took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. You? You're the one? Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Gravedigger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... I am, but still... I've never seen someone whose fate was just... missing. Not even when I was drunk as the King of Ballads. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine.
I can see the threads around you. But they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing, or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that, or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings, but we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. What could this all mean? Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one. But that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. Just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. I miss her so much. Ugh. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Ugh. Just look at the poor creature. Oh. She's been beaten to the brink of death. Ugh. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. Oh. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade, likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. 
I'm going to suggest something a bit uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but I am a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fae will know how to heal a fae. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Uh, Hope you stay in town. Can you believe? 